Part 3 has us changing from a percent to a fraction, and then reducing that fraction to lowest terms. So the first problem that we're going to look at is 60%. Remembering back to the first examples, problems 1 through 4, to change from a percent, we rewrite the number as 60 per cent, 60 over 100, and then reduce this fraction to its lowest terms. I can divide the top and bottom by 10 to reduce it to 6 tenths, and then reduce it further to 3 fifths. 4% is rewritten as 4 over 100, 4 per cent, and then reduced by dividing both the top and bottom by 4. leaving us with the fraction 1 25th. To take the fraction 6 and 1 4th and divide it by 100, it's going to take a couple more steps. So remember back to what you've learned about doing division with fractions. First I'm going to rewrite my 6 and 1 4th as an improper fraction. So it's going to become 25 fourths. Then if I'm dividing by 100, that's the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, or multiplying by 1 over 100. If I reduce before multiplying, I can fit 25 into 25 one time, and 25 into 100 four times, leaving me with the multiplication problem 1 times 1, and 4 times 4. So 6 and 1 fourth percent is the same as 1 sixteenth. Working on our last example, 75 hundredths per cent will first clear the decimal by multiplying the top and the bottom by 100 because the decimal needs to move two places. That will leave me with 75 ten thousandths. When I divide the top by 5, I get 15. Or actually, let's use the machine for this one. Let me move it up here a little bit. Putting the 75 ten thousandths into our division machine, since these numbers are pretty big. Five will fit into seven once with two remaining, and into twenty-five five times. Five goes into ten twice, and then fits into all these zeros zero times. I can still divide by five. It'll fit into fifteen three times, and into twenty four times, with those last two zeros carrying down. Now my 3 is prime, and since the digits in 400 don't add up to a multiple of 3, I've reduced this fraction as far as I can. So the fraction 3 four hundredths is equivalent to 75 hundredths percent.